Hello and welcome friends. So today I have got a list of things to explain. I'll start with um, how does the DLL export work. Then I will give you an introduction about dependency worker. What is the decorated name of a function? Why do we need to add externcy to make the functions available to outside while we are exporting some functions or the class? Uh, what is the module definition file? When do we need a .df file or how do we create a .df file? This definition file we have uh, in the Visual Studio, we can add .df file using add files in Visual Studio while we are creating a project. Uh, next, uh, there is something called dump bin tool. This dump bin tool comes with Visual Studio's installation itself. Uh, and uh, I'll show you when we need to use the dump bin tool and how to use it. So let's start with a very small example. I'll uh, create one uh, small DLL project. In that project, I'll be having some exported functions. And I'll show you how to explore those exported functions in the dependency worker. So I have uh, one small project that uh, is having some functions. These functions I want to export it and in, the, in my DLL and I want to load it using my load library in my application project and I want to call these functions from the application project. So uh, let's just build this project. Uh, there is nothing exported currently. I have not used any export uh, DLL export things currently. I just have one uh, small project, a simple project that is just uh, having three functions. And let's see uh, what are all the outputs that I'll be getting. Just uh, build this and see what all files we have got. So I just got two files. One is my DLL file as expected and uh, this is a PDB program database, that's fine. So uh, other than these two files, we don't have anything else. So when we uh, want to export these uh, functions, so let's say I want to export all the three functions and uh, I'll add uh, DLL export to my class itself. And uh, there is a better way to uh, define this. Prefer not to generally use every time the whole thing. So so I guess uh, while creating the project, we will get one macro, export macro, when you go to preprocessor. So this macro will be defined automatically. Uh, this is a project name underscore export. So just make use of this macro. this API here. So now the MyDLL API means this line. Okay. So now I have exported this class. Let's see after building what all extra files we get. Currently we have just two files. When we build this in this declaration Okay, so we have got a .lib file and .exp file. Basically, this uh, .exp file is expo uh, it contains the export symbols. I will show you how to explore this. I will explore this .exp and I will show you in some time. Uh, before that, I would like to sh introduce uh, something called Dependency Worker. This is a free software. You can download it uh, from the internet. Uh, you can explore the DLL. Uh, in this dependency worker it will show you all the dependencies this DLL is dependent on and also it will list the all the imported functions and exported functions as well so you can go to file open or you can just drag and drop the DLL here and uh, here you can see 
so this is the list of the exported functions so we have got uh, some four functions and uh, this is in C++ uh, function type this uh, type of function is in C++ and here you can see these entry points so when we say load library uh, basically we are going to get this address this entry point uh, I think the last four digit exactly you will be getting but uh, some things may differ the last four digit will be the same okay so this is the entry point that we'll be getting well we are saying load library and then we are calling get proc address so when we call get proc address for some function the same uh, same address for same entry point I'll be getting and then I can call the function the exported functions okay so uh, we have uh, three functions here that is one constructor and uh, some two functions but here it lists some four functions why okay I have got something extra okay let's uh, convert this format to undecorated C++, C++ functions then we'll be able to see what exactly this function is so when we say F10 we got uh, it in a different format that is a simplified format so these are called undecorated C++ function names and uh, this thing we have not defined or declared in our project so why does this come so according to the C++ standard every class whenever you create a class all the class has four special member functions one is a default constructor then copy constructor then a destructor and then assignment operator so and uh, when we don't declare them in our class the C++ compiler declares them and generates an implicit default implementation so this is generated by C++ compiler itself we, don't do, uh, we didn't do anything the compiler itself generated this function and it is in the exported list so these three functions uh, we have declared in our project and we have got this as ex exported now let's uh, create one application and try to call these functions okay let's call a display function I'm going to call let's convert it back to the undecorated okay this is the decorated function types function names now in my application I have loaded uh, the same DLL using load library so this is the DLL function DLL this DLL I'm loading using load library and uh, here I am getting the entry point for the display function so when I execute this line I should get the entry point as last four digit these one zero eight zero let's see what happens when I run this application project I got uh, some value so my DLL is loaded now when I execute this line get proc address I am getting a null pointer why I am getting a null pointer is it the function is not exported properly or what no the function I have already declared that I want to export this function and uh, also we have got uh, a .exp file then why I am not able to load it why I did not why it did not get loaded why uh, I did not get the entry point for this display function I am, a, I am a able to see the entry point in the dependency worker software but I am not able to load this into my application why so the reason is these function types are in C++ we have to convert the function into C C function type then only we can be able to get the entry point in our application what happens actually uh, long back when the Windows DLLs were introduced to the world so the only available option to speak to the development audience was C language okay so DLLs you can create in any language in uh, a DLL can be implemented in any language but in order to use from other language and environments the DLL interface should fall back to the lowest common denominator that is the C language so until and unless those functions are in the C language type we will not be able to get the proc address or get the entry point 